Guys, in this video, we're gonna unbox and review the Adventure Force Century X2 that we picked up from Walmart for $9.99. Guys, for $10, we could not pass up this blaster. We've done a lot of Nerf before, right? We do a lot of Nerf. So we decided, uh, let's just do something that wasn't Nerf. And we wanted to compare this to a similar Nerf product that we picked up also. This is a competition ball blaster. So it's gonna be real comparable to a Nerf rival. So just by looking at this blaster, we feel that this is Adventure Force's version of their Nerf rival finisher. So we kinda wanna compare the two, a $10 blaster versus a $15 blaster. This blaster says it's compatible with most ammunition from Nerf Rival. As you know, this is a Nerf Rival. The Nerf Rival has a stick mag. This one seems like it has an internal magazine. Flip it up, put some in, put it back, shoot. So let's get this one open and see how it compares to the Nerf Rival. Mm -hmm. Wow, you got those things quick. Yep, I was prepared. Really All right, good. there's that blaster right there. I'll load this. All right, try to load that one. It's hard. Okay, he can't load that one. Try to load this one. Wait, let's take this out. Go. Nope, only one click. So both of them are hard for Riker. Ow. Did it hurt you? <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. All right. Oh, wait. I'm red. Oh, yeah, you are. So this one does have a trigger lock. So when you prime the blaster, the trigger will not pull unless you're holding the trigger lock down. And then it will shoot. So the Adventure Force does not come with a safety like the Nerf Rival. The Nerf Rival has a safety switch right here. Okay, so you load it up like this, you push it up, but you have to do a trigger, pull it back, opens up, push it in, sick. It's kind of easy. Okay, let's get some of these loaded in there since you have it flipped up already, okay? Ooh, we should try, try the third rival dart into this one. Yeah, we're going to try both of them. And that one into that one. Yeah, we're going to try them both. The Century X2 is going to come with six of the Adventure Force balls. Nerf Rival comes with seven. All right, let's get these loaded up. You got it open? It just looks like an alien one. Okay, an alien gun? Yeah, like if you keep it open and do this. Are, are you... Let's see. You will just take the Adventure Force rounds, put them in here, and then you just shove them to the back, just like that. Yes. They're both about the same weight. Without the magazine, they kind of look the same. See? They kind of do. Let's go test fire these things and just see how they shoot. Uh, give me my thing for the camera. You need this thing? No, not that thing. <laughs> my camera stand thing. or my. You got this thing? Yes, that's what I need. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Here, hold these blasters. Okay, okay. Okay, you ready, dude? All right, you got both blasters. What we're gonna do, we're gonna stand here on the edge and we're gonna shoot to the fence. It's not really easy. I know, the here, whole thing is to be that. easy. I'll hold the finisher. Uh, you needed me to get that loaded? Yep. Yep, all right, let's see. Oh, you gotta push forward, okay. That was a little different. You gotta push that forward. Shoot at the fence whenever you're ready. Ooh, that one dropped pretty quick. That one dropped really quick. All right, take another shot. Oh, so far, I'm not really impressed with that one. Oh, that one hit okay. Okay, so that, maybe it's just that first one didn't shoot good. It's Cause now it's shooting pretty good. Let's just do three here. Now we're gonna test out the uh, Nerf Rival finisher, okay? Let's we'll set this one right here. Okay, oh, I gotta load this one too? Yep. All right, this one's a lot smoother to load. Let's see how that one shoots, shoot at the fence. That one kind of floated a little bit more. It kind of went up. Yeah, right? It kind of did. I, th I thought so too, it kind of floated upwards. Next shot, shot number two. No, that Aww. one That one did like the first one. So. Oh, that one shot good. I thought that, that one went over yeah, the Yeah, that one shot really good. Let's set this thing up again and we're gonna shoot towards the camera. Now, I will say, the Adventure Force is shooting a lot harder than the Nerf Rival. I mean, honest opinion, it is shooting harder. I can tell in flight how, how well it's shooting. Guys, I'm about to lose my tooth. Let me see. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, Riker's so excited. He's about to lose his first tooth. He's so excited. Six My years friend old. got seven. Seven? Yes. Oh yeah, they lost seven teeth. Yeah, he's got a friend, same age, has already lost seven teeth, but he's six years old and about to use, lose his first one. What is he doing? Next test, we're gonna see if the rival balls shoot well out of the Adventure Force, and if the Adventure Force balls shoot well out of the rival. First up, we're going uh, Adventure Force out of the rival, okay? Okay, I'm gonna shoot like this. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Hey, kind of shot like that. It kind of did curve a little bit. Come on, rival balls out of the Adventure Force. Ooh, that one shot down. <laughs> Did that go over the fence? Yes. Huh? Yes. Come on, dude. <laughs> Guys, these two blasters going head to head, we actually like the Adventure Force over the finisher. The fact that it shoots harder is the reason we like it. The finisher looks better. There's nothing wrong with the way this one looks. Now, both of these are really great blasters. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, the only difference is $14 external magazine and it's nerf versus $9 internal magazine Adventure Force. Somewhat of a, um, I don't wanna really call it a, a generic or an off brand because Adventure Force is actually a pretty decent brand. Then they make the Nexus Pro, which is a really, really great blaster. It's just hard. Yeah, out of the box. Me personally, I thought the Adventure Force rounds were a little bit softer than the Nerf rival rounds. You thought so too, right? That the orange ones are a little softer? Yeah, but some are not. Oh, that was right. They were real inconsistent. Some of them were softer and some of them were a little bit uh, stiffer, but the Nerf rival rounds were pretty much consistent. I prefer the Nerf rival rounds shooting out of this thing, but there's nothing wrong with the Adventure Force rounds. I woke up early. I woke, <laughs> my dad wakes up at six and I woke up when he woke up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you are what? Before. Yeah, I was editing a video, right? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is a great blaster. We would highly recommend it. Uh, this is a great blaster. We would highly recommend it. But if you're in the, if you're in the market for something a little cheaper, something under ten bucks or right around the ten dollar range, pick up the Adventure Force. If you got the money to spend the extra fifteen and you just want a Nerf product because you love Nerf, pick up the Finisher. It's a really good blaster. Both of them are. Guys, that's it for this comparison video. We'll see you next time. This blaster says it's compatible with most ammunition for, for the Nerf. It's not even Nerf. <laughs> okay. I got these for my birthday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.